In this video, we'll talk about MHC presentation. We would look at how class 1 and class 2 MHCs are displayed on the cell surface and processed by the cellular machinery. So class 1 and class 2 MHCs are different and class 1 MHC displays endogenous antigen or viral peptides whereas class 2 MHC displays exogenous antigens. Question is how antigens are loaded onto the MHC and how they are displayed on the cell surface. So class 1 MHC can be found in any nucleated cell type and class 2 MHC is found in professional antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cells, macrophages or B cells. Now let's look at the MHC displaying procedure. So be it class 1 or be it class 2, both of them are proteins so they are encoded by the gene. There are specific MHC1 and MHC2 specific clusters in specific chromosomes. And if you want to know more about that, you can click on the I button. But these clusters would eventually produce the class 1 MHC or class 2 MHC. So the protein is basically translated and moved to the endoplasmic reticulum. So in the endoplasmic reticulum, there are certain chaperones which basically helps in the protein folding. Eventually, there are other chaperones which help in the assembly process of these uh, class 1 MHC and the beta 2 microglobulin. And eventually, what happens is there are specific proteasomes which are known as immunoproteasomes break down endogenous proteins and make fragments of it. And these fragments enter the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of TAP transporter. Once they enter through the TAP transporter, they get displayed on the surface of the newly formed MHC class 1 molecule. So from the endoplasmic reticulum, using specific uh, anterograde Trans, uh, transport machinery, they would be uh, moving towards Golgi apparatus. In the Golgi apparatus, uh, they basically get some modifications and eventually from the Golgi, it takes another route of like vesicle trafficking and ultimately it is displayed on the cell surface. So now what happens is in class 2 MHC molecule processing, the MHC2, both the chains are produced and then what happens, the endogenous antigens are loaded onto the class 2 MHC molecule and these exogenous antigens come via uh, endosome because there are some exogenous antigen which are taken inside by endocytosis or phagocytosis eventually there are phagosome or endosome that fuses with this vesicle. Now generally the antigen the site where the antigen is binding in class 2 MHC is blocked by a specific molecule for details you can watch a different video but in this video we are not going to talk about that much so that uh, that kind of like uh, block is removed when there is a uh, added uh, exogenous antigen then it is loaded on the peptide loading groove of the class 2 MHC. Eventually the class 2 MHC bound vesicles are displayed on the class uh, on the cell surface. This is how the class 2 MHC molecules are displayed on the cell. So I hope this video was useful. Um, one thing you have to understand is the antigens which are presented on the uh, class 2 uh, class 1 MHC are endogenous and they are degraded by the immunoproteasome and extracellular antigens are engulfed into the cells and they are they are basically degraded by lysosomal enzymes or sometimes ph change can lead to the degradation of those proteins so i hope this video was quick and informative if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video